touch not my anointed, um, my anointed and whom do my prophet no harm. So uh, God was rebuking the kings. God was rebuking the nations. Because people, they were dis uh, dis uh, uh, dishonored his servants. Amen. So why God was uh, uh, thinking too much about the servants? Because the Spirit of God was dwelling in them. Amen. If you can go in the Bible, uh, in the book of um, Hebrews 1, uh, the Bible says that God is under times in diverse manner. He was speaking uh, uh, to, our, uh, to, uh, to our fathers, Amen. through prophets. prophets. Amen. Which means that even in uh, in old uh, in, in time or in old testament, God was speaking to His servants through prophets. Amen. Amen. So if another man came and he dishonored what the prophets were saying, they were fighting with God. They were dishonored God. Amen. So here I want to, I, I I know the reason why I'm shivering. I know I know that Satan doesn't want me to. To say what I wanted to say, Amen. but uh, what I can, um, what I wanted to say is, if you are talking about respect, we don't count only people uh, we know, Amen. or people who are Christians, Amen. because we we are there, uh, we are written epistles, read by men. So if you are written epistles, which means that we have to show our character in the world. Amen. That we are Christians. Amen. If we can't respect even the people who are outside there, which means that we are not yet Christians. Amen. Because it's a commandment of God, we to respect one another. Amen. And he, in a certain statement, Brother Branham was saying that church must respect one another. Amen. Which means that if you are not respecting one another, we are not yet a church. Amen. Amen. And he, uh, my brother, uh, sister, there, can uh, check for me the message for the church, uh, divine healing, uh, 54, 12, 19, paragraph 97, 98. Uh, divine healing, 54, 12, 19, paragraph 97, uh, 98. There are so many ways uh, why God is not using us. Sometimes we can see someone is, is in error. As Christians, we know that this, uh, this, this person is not yet redeemed, but he's a Christian. He's fighting hard. But if you see someone that is going wrong, even some pastors, they can go home. They are human beings, Amen. but we lack respect. Amen. We start to dishonor them. We forget Amen. that they are human beings. They can do wrong. They can do errors. Amen. They are God. But we find ourselves that we are burying them while they are alive. Amen. We don't want them to live because they are they are they, they are preaching the way how you don't like, or maybe they did something which you don't like. Amen. Amen. Then you start to uh, disrespect them. You start to dishonor them. But God is not telling us to do that. Even there are a lot of people in the Bible. Let us, uh, let us just uh, give you an example of Samson. There's a lot of people who was in error in the Bible. But God was still respecting, uh, respecting them. First, uh, first let me go to uh, Samson. Uh, if you can go to uh, Judges, uh, Judges 14, we find that Samson, he was, uh, he was going to uh, to Timna. He found a girl there. Then he went to his parents. He told his parents that um, I, find, I find a girl to Timna. Then the parents told him that no, you know my uh, my son, we 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 we, we commanded not to marry any other person, Amen. but only Israel. Amen. Amen. But Samson forced them to go together with them. But the part they were seeing different. We, we can let, let us just take this issue, not like a particular Samson, but we, let us just, just take this issue as another, uh, uh, another in, in another angle. Let us, uh, let us just read it. And Samson went down to Timna and saw a woman in Timna, all the daughters of Christians, 
And he came up and told his father and mother, saying, I have seen a woman in Timna of daughters of Christians. Now, therefore, get her for me, the wife. Then his father and his mother said unto him, Is there never a woman among the daughters of my brethren, or among all my people, that, uh, uh, that thou goest to take a wife of the uncircumcised uh, Christians? And Samson uh, said unto his father, Get her for me. For she pleased me well. But his father and his mother knew not that it was of the Lord. Amen. That he sought an occasion against the Philistines, for at, the at that time a dominion over Israel. Ah. So you see here, we can see some uh, but and Samson. But God allowed Samson to do so deliberately to, to, to break his own law. So that he can find an occasion to Philistines. But the parents they were seeing in another way. The parents they were seeing that Samson he is dishonoring the word of God. Exactly. Yeah, but now, them they did not know that it was God's way. Uh, Samson fight the Christians. Amen. So you can see here, uh, if it is like today, we found that a certain brother maybe he went outside, he take uh, someone there and he get married with him. Uh, with him. We found that we are talking too much. We don't know, we don't pray, but what we know is just criticizing. Amen. Amen. As if the salvation is in our hands. Amen. We don't know how God is saving people. There's a lot of ways how God can save people. Amen. God can allow someone to go outside to take a finish time and come to make him son of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise. And you know that it can sound good, well. it can sound well, but that's the the Lord. Uh, it's the Bible how it is. If you can go to King Saul, we find that King Saul also, he was fighting with, uh, with God until the Bible said that King Saul came, uh, became an enemy to God. But David was not touching him. Why? Because he was anointed of God. Some enemies, they are not of you. You, what you can do, just kneel down and pray. He's not about to talk something against anointed one of God. Pastor might be a uh, fellow, can do something which can please you, but you have to know that your responsibility is to pray for the pastor, Amen. It's to pray for the brother. Amen. Because you don't know that that brother, the one who is in error, have the Holy Ghost. And God knows. Don't think that if someone has the Holy Ghost can do error. No, he can do. Samson had the Holy Ghost and the, the power of God was with him. Amen. But he went astray. But it was will of God. Amen. Uh, tell you this, uh, another message. But let, let me warn you, my brothers. God is not hard with us. We are burning a lot of people. Rapture is not going because we, if we see a brother doing something wrong, we don't have time of praying. Our time is just speaking some things not right before the Lord. And we found ourselves that we are also in this by doing such things. Amen. Our duty is to pray to one another, not to speak evil against someone. We found that this King saw here knew that God is not happy with the uh, uh, death he knew that God was not happy with his soul. But he, what David did was just respecting what God put in soul. Uh, Until someone came to David and told David that no, I killed this one because he told me to kill him. David asked him that why? How, how did you get courage of killing anointed one of God? What Saul was seeing to David was uh, what David was seeing to Saul was different to what everyone was seeing. Amen. Because someone killed Saul, that that man also killed David because he did something which was wrong before the Lord. Because that fight it was not a fight for anyone else, but fight for God alone. Amen. We found also uh, uh, Moses. Moses did the same. 
Moses did not marry among the children of Israel. He went to Ethiopia to get a, a wife there. Then uh, Miriam and Aaron came and sat by the king. Right. And uh, Miriam, God struck Miriam with a repose. Why? It was the will of God, Moses to went to uh, Ethiopia to get a, a wife there. It was nothing to do with Miriam and Aaron. Amen. And God took Moses while he had that kind of wife to send him to Egypt. So, if anyone among us do something wrong, our responsibility is to pray, for them. not to go. Amen. We have to shut our mouth. Amen. We have to respect the word of God. Amen. Because we can fight with God, not knowing that we are fighting with God. Amen. King saw, uh, saw the, uh, an apostle when he was his way to Damascus. He met the pillar of fire and he heard the voice from the pillar of fire. That so, so, why are you persecuting me? Mm -hmm. But if you can see King so, who was not persecuting the Lord Jesus Christ because he did not know him, him was persecuting the church. But Jesus Christ was suffering there in heaven because Paul was fighting with the Holy Ghost, which was uh, in the apostles. Then the Lord Jesus Christ came and asked him, Why? Are you persecuting me? Then he asked, Who are you, Lord? He told him, he told him that I am Jesus Christ, the one whom you are persecuting. Which means that sometimes we will think that we are fighting with the name. I'm telling my, my dear brothers and sisters, to believe, to believe this message is not a job. It's not accidental. Or it's not opportunity. Or it's not lucky that oh, no, you see, I just believe them by like no. It's the predestinated uh, predestinated. God predestined you to believe this message. Amen. So if you believe the message, you have to know where you are from and how God took you from the Amari uh, there outside. So that you can respect God's way. Sometimes we forget things that we are in heaven. We do a lot of errors. But if someone does something wrong, we don't want to plead to him. We Qualify him, you qualify him to be a son of hell. As if you know the names of people who are going to hell. It's not our responsibility to do that. We have to love one another. Amen. That's Christianity. Amen. Christianity is not prospering. Ministries are not prospering because we are wasting our time of doing something which is not even in the will of God. You find that a brother is doing wrong. You go to a brother with anger. You want to help a brother with anger. How can you help someone with anger? You have to go to a brother with love in you. Amen. That's why the Bible says that God so loved the world. John 3, 16. So that he gave himself, his God inside. Why he gave himself? Because he, he, he had love in him. Amen. Love for us. And we did, we did not save ourselves. If you can go to the book of Ephesians, the Bible says that we did not save uh, ourselves or with our works so that we can boost that I know uh, it was my ability, uh, it was my ability to, to be the way how I am today. No. Some of us we are from miserable families. Funny families. Now God raised us to be the way how we are. Then we forget everything. Amen. Let us go to Abraham. We will find that Abraham, he met with uh, uh, Abimelech at uh, Genesis 21. He met with Abimelech and he lied to Abimelech that Sarah was not his wife, was his sister. Potentially he was, but at that time he was his wife. But God came to Abimelech and told him that take back my servant's wife, otherwise you will die. And go and tell him also to pray for you. Just imagine a liar, a cheater. God is sending a cheater to a, to, to a saint to tell him that, tell that, he, that he cheater to pray for you because that one is my servant. Because I've made it not do anything wrong. 
But God can never use you, friend. That's why, that's why we have to be careful. Amen. If you are dealing with things of God. Amen. Some people they can do wrong and you can dislike it, but it's not your duty to speak evil about them. Amen. If you want to be a Christian enough, kneel down and pray. Amen. It is said of everything. Amen. But if you know that you can't you don't have good words, shut your mouth. Amen. But if you know that you speak something, God will do with you. Don't count yourself that you are a believer. So being a believer, it doesn't, it doesn't mean that God can deal with you. God can defeat you and God can beat you too much. Amen. Because of disrespecting or dishonoring his servant. Amen. You know what the uh, brother Bunam said in the message of uh, he said with the word of the Lord. He said that the some they are dying. Some they are weak. By not knowing or sending the Lord's body. So, what is the Lord's body? It's a believer. Amen. So, as ye, we are body of the Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ knows who is not complete without us. So, just imagine your finger have a problem. You are going to the hospital. You are telling the, uh, uh, a doctor that just got it. But yet you have a medicine or a certain drug so that you can just put and, and you'll be okay. Yeah. But you are going to a doctor just to remove your finger because you are feeling pain. That, that is not the way how we are supposed to be. Amen. If a Christian is in the wrong, which means that that part is sick, and that one is part of you, yes. and wrapped out to God because that one is not in the body. So you have to be perfect, and that perfection you have also to share to someone. If you know that you are at least good, and you see someone that is suffering in another way, help him. It's your responsibility. The Lord Jesus Christ did his part on Calvary. So now it's our it's our portion, it's our part also to play, so that everyone here can be what can be right. Brother Abraham was speaking in this uh, uh, message uh, about Elijah. Actually, Elisha. That he spoke those beards to come to, to, to kill those children. Because the parents, they were not teaching the, uh, their children right. Children, they have to be taught right. Amen. You can't teach speak evil about a brother, or you can speak evil about the, the pastor, or a, a certain minister, not only for your church, any other church, but about your pastor. You think what kind of a seed you are planting in your children. Amen. And those children, brother Branham, according to the same of brother Branham, he said, those children, they hear their parents telling each other, you know that, uh, that guy, that one is a uh, is it, it's, it's evil. How can he speak the rain not to come? So we don't, uh, we don't respect him. So those, those children, they took that statement from the, uh, from the parents. They think that the parents were right. Then they end up spawning Elisha. That you put, uh, go up. You put him in, go up. So Elisha was angry with them. This Respect. God respected the way how Elisha spoke. Though in other messages, Brother Brandon was rebuking Elisha that no, Elisha did not do well. Because uh, those, those ones, they were children. But in this message, Brother Brandon is saying, those people, they taught it wrong, those children. They father they taught them wrong. You can't teach your children how to despise others. No. People, they are dying. Churches are dying. Ministers are dying. Why? Because we, we don't know our positions. Amen. In the body of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, uh, you will find also, uh, if you can go to uh, King, King David, there were a man, Polish man. That man was calling David when he was running at Bissalom. So he was thinking that now, God is fighting me. Uh, for me, or for our nation. Remember, Shimei was an Israel. He was the son of, of Jacob. 
But he was sworn in David. But he got not like the way how uh, Shimei was uh, sworn in David. Until one, one sword of David, he told David that why can't we just take out the, the head of this dog? David, see the Holy Ghost, he said, no, maybe God is the one who sent him to do this. Because of the sin I did. Sometimes you can know that I'm suffering because of my sin. But don't speak evil to that one. But God did not spare Shimei. God deal with Shimei after uh, the battle of, 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 of David through King uh, Solomon. If you do something wrong to children of God, even to seven of God, you have to know that you will pay. No matter what, even if that servant is not there, it's not your duty to speak evil against anyone Amen. for this good of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because you are dishonoring the word of God. If, you need, if, you, if, you, if God uh, get a reproach to Miriam, the very uh, sister of Mo Moses, maybe the one who was Moses also, God did not spare him at the because of what she did to Moses. So how about you ask him? We are not even related. God can spare in us. So we have to be careful when we are dealing with children of God. Amen. There are a lot of things which, which, are, which, which are not happening. You see, if you, even if you can see all churches which are, are around us for believers, they are not because it, it, it's a level of evangelism which is happening here. No. It's because of a uh, lack of respect. Churches they are born because of lack, a lack of respect. Amen. People, they, they don't respect their elders. They don't have a time of prayer. They have time of scorning. They have time of speaking evil. You find that there's a, like around here, there's a lot of churches for believers. Some they can come here, and others for here they can go there. Why? Because they believe that that pastor is doing something which is not uh, uh, the way how we are. We are understanding. We can't understand the message they say. If we don't understand it, read it like that. Pray God make him to understand the way how we understand. Amen. Not to speak something which can make someone to help that one. You know, uh, if I can preach hatred here, hating some pastor somewhere, and because of your love to me, you find you also you will start hating another pastor because of me. What kind of spirit are you, I, am I applying to you? It's wrong. Amen. Because it's not my duty to teach you how to hate. It's my duty to teach you how to love. Amen. If I can tell you, you see, brother, if I can come here and start talking bad about Brother Cassandra to someone, someone can start hating Brother Cassandra why he, he is not even know Brother Cassandra? Amen. There are pastors we hate them. We hate them, we don't know them, we do not speak to them, we won't meet them until dead, but we are hating them. Amen. Why? Because of dis disrespect. Amen. We don't respect them, we don't respect uh, the Lord of God. That's why we are hating people we don't know. We just see here that a certain person is preaching this, a certain person is preaching then we start hating them. Can we go to heaven because of, 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 of hatred? Can we go to heaven because of uh, dishonor, dishonoring someone? We have to fight for our steps here. We are failing to receive the Holy Ghost because of that thing we are, we, we are in our hearts. Amen. If you can forget everything and start thinking how God he can uh, deal with us, rather we can be untouchable. Amen. But Satan is just uh, uh, playing with us. He knows that uh, these people, they are already did it. Even here, you find that there is a group of people here. Some they spawn this one, another one is spawning this one, another one. You think God can deal with you? He can't. The God I know, first of all, he wants you to love the one who hates you. Just imagine, Jesus Christ on the, was on the cross, naked. Everyone was singing, young and old. His disciples, his mother, everyone was seeing his nakedness on the cross. 
But what he say? Lord, forgive them. Because they don't know what they are doing. Then people, they killed him. But you, the one you are hating, he did not do anything wrong to you. Yes. You just decide to hate. What kind of spirit is that one? What kind of spirit is that one? Do you think if the rapture is going, you are qualified to go in rapture? Because you are, don't cheat yourself. We believers, we have this in nature of forgiving ourselves because uh, you are you are you, you are you are scolding someone who is a believer. If you dissolve, if you if you, if you scold someone who is a believer, you have to go and repent because it's evil. God wants you to be uh, in love with you. You are your sister, your brother. Amen. You you will find that someone just from nowhere in the house. You know, brother, going to I hate that one. The way how he hit him, right? What did I do to you? Praise the Lord. From no way, without it, even where the, uh, where the story started, just as, as maybe you were dreaming, just starting a story. Praise Brother, the Lord. If you, are, if you don't have anything to do, take the Bible. If you read the Bible, it's not a sin. Read the Bible every day. If you don't have something to do, read the Bible. If you, don't, if, if you don't want to read the Bible, pray. Amen. If you don't want to pray, sing. Amen. If you don't want to sing, sleep. <laughs> because you, you, you want to do anything you want to do. <laughs> just imagine, just imagine a sin found you in your house, eating. And you, you with your wife, start spoiling someone. You don't eat. He did not do anything wrong to you. I just start to speak. I go, you know that one. If in his car, that one, I don't believe that that car, you put it, you know he is lost. Did you ask him where he put that car? Disrespect. May not help us. Amen. We are not supposed just to forgive ourselves. Go and repent, brother. Go and repent, sister. You are not going in a rapture. I'm telling you, yes. don't qualify yourself to be a bride. Yes. If you want to be a bride, be pure, not spot or wrinkle. Yes. Even a blame on you. Don't 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 compare yourself to that. No, you know we are we are we are we are we are, we are, we are all sinners. But if God is not taking sinners to go to heaven. Amen. He is taking a repentant sinners. Amen. People who repented. Not who people who are not repenting. Amen. We are just taking this message as, as uh, I don't know, as what I don't know. We are not respecting the message. Amen. Don't come here like a tradition. But like, oh, on Wednesday we are going to church on Friday and Sunday. No, come here as if you are going to be a physician. Amen. You have a problem. Amen. You want the God to help you. Amen. Not you are coming here just to uh, register. God don't have a register. That one day, this one came to church. Uh, Michael, uh, Mark this one. No. God wants to be pure. Yes. Amen. God did not die, die, die for Satan. He died for you. Amen. So that you can be pure. Yes. Amen. God is poor to a yes. But now you are, you are. But Satan is grave too much nowadays. He's grave too much nowadays, Satan. He's inviting people in their homes, just visiting them. And if a husband is not picking the wife, a wife is not picking the husband, sometimes just step a stone without no, without the brothers. Praise the Lord. Please, please. Wow. We are on our way to heaven. Yes. We are not here to do picnic. How many times have we have been coming here? But that same thing every time, every time, yeah. and you are you are just uh, cheating yourself. That I love everyone. I love I love everyone. You love my mouth, yeah. but in your heart there is a bit, yeah. which is in me. Yeah. May the Lord help us. Amen. I'm saying this. I'm, I try to, to to show you other people who did something which is not right before the Lord. But God was still in love with them. Let me tell you one thing. 
Maybe some of you did not know. Do you know what Brother Bram said? Brother Bram said in a certain message that a man did not but slide uh, uh, in the hands of God. You can backslide in the church. People they can they count you that you are a backslider, but not in the not to God. God is not seeing your errors. He died for you. Amen. On Calvary, and he finished the way. Amen. And he, when he was on Calvary, he said that it's finished. Amen. Your sins were forgiven. Don't allow someone to scare you that you are going to hell. Tell him that maybe you, you know where you are going. Me, I'm not going to hell. Because I'm a son of God. I'm a child of God. I'm going to heaven anyhow. No matter the battle is, is too much. But me, I, I, I don't feel heaven. Because the one who made me to fail to heaven is defeated. And you are a person of God. You are a king of God. God is not complete without you. God is not complete. That's why he sent himself. He, 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 he. He came himself here to redeem you because he knows that he can't finish everything here on earth without you. Amen. You were in the mind of God before the foundation of the world. Amen. Who were fellow workers of God. We are part, uh, are particles of God. We are gene, we are seed of God. Amen. So if we are seed of God, what is the nature of God? Is love. So if, he, if you are a, a son or daughter of God, you have to do also what God wants you to do. If God is love, you will also love. Amen. You are not uh, hell bound, you are heaven, uh, heaven bound. You are going to heaven. God redeemed you completely. Don't make yourself, don't allow someone to make you, but don't seem weak. Because also the Bible says that do you want do you, uh, do, uh, do, uh, do you continue in sin so that grace will increase? Certainly not. That's not what the Bible says. So uh, we be complete here. We have to see if someone is doing wrong. If Brother Mapata is doing wrong, me I have to go with love. We don't have Brother Mapata here. We have to go. Even if me I'm, I'm doing wrong, even this brother can come to me. Even the smallest here, I told the brother. I saw you the way how I was looking that day, that day where I was I can't say that I you know what? Because these eyes can do everything. So that brother is helping me at least to study uh, properly. I can't say that no. Sometimes God can speak to you at the same brother here. God can use it whatever he wants to use. That's how we are supposed to be. If someone is doing wrong, go and tell. If, he's, if you know that it's like he scaring you or he's scared, just pray. Or tell a certain brother, brother, I see a certain brother here. He was going with a certain girl. Please, can we go together? Me, I have evidence. Sometimes maybe I took also a picture. I will walk for him. But me, I'm fearing to go with him. That is love. Amen. Love is not funny. Love is not speaking evil about someone. Yes, yes. Love is for, uh, correction. Love is corrective. That's what the Bible says. Yes. So, we have to do what is right for the Lord. Brother Abraham was saying also that sometimes love and respect can heal. You, you can't get healed to someone who told you love. If you come here and, and kneel down here, you are sick. But you know that if brother of is that you need, I'm telling you, you can't, you can't even get you here. Because, first of all, you don't respect and you don't have love. Amen. You don't love me. So if you, if you don't love me, how can I pray for you and get you? Yeah. And also, if you don't respect, Brother Abraham will say that, if you don't respect, which means that you don't fear. So if you don't respect a pastor, you are telling your soul that ah, me, I don't fear a pastor. We are the pastor after all. If you disrespect someone, everyone here, which means that first of all, you don't fear those people. Amen. If you want to, uh, to understand this, what, what I'm saying here, probably, just go and read that message. Respects. 
Because you are not responsible for hell. If you put a statement into hell, it's not your part. The part of God is you to help him. From hell to heaven. Everyone who you can hear, everyone, no matter if you are pastor, no matter if someone, someone you don't know whether you know, but please shut your mouth. This is Bible is not for you. This is Bible is for God. Amen. You can't protect the Bible. You can't protect the message. The one who is protecting the message is the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost is his duty to protect the message. Uh, That's why there's the first church, second church, yeah. then fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven. Why? If you if you are out of God's will, God will arrest someone to do better than you. So God Himself is the one who is responsible for His way. Amen. If He will judge, He will judge with the Bible. Amen. So just imagine someone is doing wrong, uh, wrong here. Uh, let, me, uh, let me say, maybe someone did foundation. And you, you, you are spending. You think if God you want to judge, and God is there, God, you are there by you. Because he, he, he told you that you don't spend. So a fornicator and he, a, a spend man, both of you, you are evil. Amen. Go to who accuse this one and also accuse you. Amen. Sometimes we need to condemn people. We don't know that maybe those people they did right, but we don't know. That's that's the reason why it is dangerous just to uh, to despise anyone, especially people we don't know. We are de I'm despising a pastor from America because I I I, I hear about him something wrong. Oh, that he was doing something wrong. He made it right there. The one who told me that he, he did it wrong, he did not tell me that he made it right. I'm still, I'm still scolding him until he's dead. Me, my, my, my mind, I'm just have that mind of uh, that, that pastor. I did this. He did this. Brother, brother, mind your business. Don't mind about someone. Amen. Heaven, it's not for. It's not. It's not. It's not your property. It's the property of God. So if you are going to help it, you and that one, all of you are people. Yeah. 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 Let us just uh, uh, read you one uh, quotation, then we can uh, close. It's two minutes to pay it. I don't know, but. Uh, just to hear what I'm saying or what I say. I hope we support the one who's speaking to you. Amen. But if you are minding about English, you are missing.
I have here congregations to talk about their pastor. How? Just talk about him running down ridiculous. How is that pastor ever going to do anything for you? You, you are digging a pastor. You are spawning a pastor. You are talking about but uh, 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 but if you are sick, you are calling him at night. Pastor, please pray for me. Someone you are digging. Someone you are hating. Brother. Uh, he can't do it. You see here. How is that pastor ever going to do anything for you? He can't do it. You don't, you don't. I don't say this is church, but I mean churches I am seeing. A lot of churches here, uh, this message believers, if there is ch if there is church here uh, in the world, which people they are spoiling too much each other. Catholic. They are message uh, believers. Amen. They are schooling too much. Have we, have we ever heard that the Catholic they are divided? Where? Tell me. Someone can show me where Catholic divide that no, and the police of this church now started another Catholic somewhere. Where? They are they are doing it. They are in a wrong doctrine, but there is no one about it. They are wrong. But you uh, uh, you are in the right position, but you have wrong spirit. So, Brother Bram is saying that I need churches, I have seen that if it, uh, that you go to love your pastor, it's a command. Yes. You have to love your pastor. Yes. Whether you don't want or you want but love him, yes. you choose him to lead you. Believe him, he will take you to heaven. God anointed him for a reason, for a purpose for you. Don't have the time of talking to him about him. Even if he disappoints you, he is a man, he can do that. He is not God. He is not in heaven. No, he is in this God. Sometimes he can fight with his wife. Sometimes he can fight with his children. Sometimes he can fight with you. But respect him. Amen. You've got to know that he is a human being. But yet God has made him his pastor. He is the pastor of God. Amen. Just imagine, a human being, God made him to, to be God's pastor. To feed you. Then you are talking bad about him. The only God that made him overseer. Then you have to go to respect him in that manner. Because the only God made him overseer. So because he made him overseer, respect him for that. Amen. Because you are not the one who is it. You can tell that I met him and go in your house that I told you. Me, I got it, but I made a mistake. It was not you. God just anointed you to vote him. Because God knows that you can pay a pastor. You will divide a church. That's why he chose it. So then you've got to respect him in that manner. And no matter what the pastor, pastor has done, if you respect him in your heart as God said one, God will respect you for doing it. Amen. You see? So sometimes if you are not really, uh, receiving what you have been praying, because you are the sinner and you are pastor. Amen. You have to know. Brother Brown is saying, let me pray. If you respect him, in your heart, not in, with your mouth. In your heart, your heart must uh, confess that that one is my past. As God said, but God will respect you for doing that. Amen. Even if you are pray, God will hear your prayer. Amen. If you are sick, God will respect you. Uh, he will hear you. Amen. If you are poor, God will make you rich. Amen. Because you are respecting the disabled. Amen. Amen. According to the law of Israel, Moses did the wrong for marrying Ethiopian women, a uh, woman. But God respected him. He struck Miriam because of what? Of rebuking Moses. Amen. Let me just finish here. He, he, he that received, uh, received me. 
receiveth him that sent me. Uh -huh. Here say, He that receiveth me, uh, he that don't receive me, can't receive him. See? They said God was their father. He said, You are your father's, uh, you are the father of them. So you can see here, sometimes you can say that God is my father, but you are, you are uh, disrespecting the uh, pastor here. Even me back home there. Some of the evening is when the pastors are coming here, that, know, that the pastor don't like you. But you remember, you are like that to do that pastor. Don't just see a wrong part. He has been feeding you spirit of food. But because it is something, just a wrong. Now we forget everything. Now it's evil is going to hell. Which hell? Did you create hell? I know there are other persons that are going to hell. Did you have a portion in hell so that you can put your own people? No. Because the people have to respect them. No matter how they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are doing wrong. Respect them. Amen. Respect your brother and sister. They are the only ghost of those people. Sometimes, because of scorning them, disrespect them, God will not even honor you. Amen. Because you are out of the will of God. Amen. They don't receive. Amen. Amen. Sometimes someone who is not able to stand enough in the bus 
they can just continue talking their stories. They can't respect that person. But us, as we've been taught in the Bible, that we should respect. Respect, I think, the uh, charity begins at home. If we respect, if we teach our children to respect, hallelujah, they are also going to respect everyone, even in this life. Whoever, even the elders, the pastors, whosoever. That's why the pastor, the brother was saying, the children that, I think Brother talks about it, he said the children that uh, Elisha cursed in the hell comes and eat them. It was because they were not taught right at all. They were taught to love from the elders. Hallelujah. But we need to teach our children to respect. Even respecting anyone who is older than them, they must know that this person, I should respect him. It's not that it's not held in any office, it's that it's not doing anything, but because of the age, the person should respect. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. We thank the Lord for such a wonderful message. We can sing a song with my husband and brother to come and pray for us.
Shalom says about this in the song where we are going to out. Sing in my heart in front of Jesus. In my heart. Oh!